Hello there, everybody, and welcome to our game on game. Morning. What's up? Hey. Today, Neil will kill us all. <laughs> no, 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 no. First, he'll kill our pets. <laughs> then he'll kill us all. <laughs> I like to try it. I like everyone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. Silent sobbing. Like, I'll <laughs> cry later after the stream. <laughs> How has your week been, everybody? Um, Great and exhausting, and oh my god, when can I sleep again? I, I really wish Gobi had the option to like slowly zoom in on Bonsai's face as she does this, like, <laughs> it's like part smile, part screaming. <laughs> it's like that little gif when you see like internal screaming, it's just, <laughs> oh. oh, I'm really good. I uh. Debuted my witch mercy and I'm really hyped about it. So I had a really good weekend. How oh, about cool. everybody else? Are you going to be doing any uh, cosplaying at uh, PAX East? Yep, every day. Except for one wow. day I'm going to wear my Twitch onesie. I'm going to bring Brigitte from Overwatch. Um, I'll probably wear her two days. Futaba, and then I'm uh, from Persona 5, and then I'm debating bringing Elizabeth from Persona 3. That's awesome. Holy crap. Yeah. I have a Twitch onesie too. You want to match? Yes. <laughs> oh what day are you going to wear it? One of my, I don't know yet, but um, Sunday? Guys, Sunday? Like slide into my DMs. Sunday? Yeah, sure. Sunday. I slide, slide into, into my DMs. DMs. Yeah, dude. I love it. What does a Twitch onesie look like? It's a uh, onesie. Well, it's, I know what a onesie <laughs> is. But it's like, a, um, there were two designs that they did. One's oh, just like cool. straight purple uh -huh. and it's got yeah. like a hood and like the little Twitch glitch. Uh -huh. And the other one was uh, purple, but it had white glitches mm -hmm. all over it. Like everywhere. Uh, yeah. Which one and it doesn't, it doesn't I just fit got large purple. dudes. Okay. I, have I had it. I had it for a just dance thing. It ripped. Oh no. What? <laughs> it was the largest oh, one. Wow. We were, no, we were at, we were at Twitch headquarters for our charity stream for like extra life. And we raised enough where it's like, okay, I'll do a Just Dance. And the largest Twitch onesie they have, thinking that it was going to fit a six foot five dude, let's just say I bent over once in a song and just you hear, rip. And I'm like, well, good thing I had shorts underneath this or else um, oh my Twitch God. chat would be, uh, well, it'd be a good thing I was at Twitch headquarters because then I could talk to somebody about my channel being banned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, do you want me to turn this the other way? So you can get not look at all my wood in the background. Well, my, mine is my basement, so there's like a whole bunch of crap behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in chat was like, that's a big TV. And I was like, well, retro games, my dude. <laughs> so let's hop sort of into game. But before we do that, let's get a recap of last week or last what we've done up until now. So Bonsai Baby. Mm -hmm. What is your quest? My quest is to find those people who spilt that 25 year old cask of whiskey. I didn't forget about it. And also, <laughs> I got this woman. She killed children. She killed children. Oh. And I had to claim her hands to oh, be yeah. proper authorities that we have cleansed the area of this witch. Right. And above that, why are you going, why are you moving across the country right now? Where? We're on a secret mission for the Baroness to find her crown. Excellent. Excellent. Conspiracies, conspiracies. And Ooh. Kira Corellia, where is it that you are heading? We are heading to the river and south. We're going to follow south. Which river? <laughs> The razor brush. I don't know. Let me zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared for this question. I was prepared for something else. Like, you know, do you tell want me your about animals to live? Yeah, maybe that. I was thinking more like, tell me about your encounter with the the lady L Lamia. Uh, we're heading down the Razorbook River. Wonderful. To find these were rats. Excellent. Uh, and Niga. What sort of difficulties have you encountered along your way? Being in a group with some of the weirdest people. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw that question to Lumen. Lumen, what sort of difficulties have you encountered along the way? Um, so we 
almost fought a pack of lions, but we were able to not kill the kitties because of Niga. And then we fought a chimera and almost killed it, but it got away. Um, no pets died in the journey, <laughs> okay. which was a huge success. Don't say that. Don't say that. And it's gonna then, happen now. Um, we were uh, tricked by a, a hag lady. <laughs> we she was killing children, like Bonds. I said, and uh, she tried. I can't. I can't remember if she was trying to kill Niga or if she was trying to kill me. But she broke into our room. And I was like, oh no. Um, and then we fought her and, and murdered her. Yeah, she was gonna so, eat all of you. Oh, okay. Just one at a time, you know. Fair. Ah, I no slept through it. Order. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh she dang it. Her drunk. Even, if only I could sleep that well in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, I, I, I will say you bring up an odd, you said a hag lady. Can, can men be hags? Hags are, they, are, are they... a female only race. Uh, okay. Sorry, there are no male. Are hags. you gonna tell me that I can't be a wizard now? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I'm a wizard. Wizard and <laughs> hags are right unrelated. Now. Unrelated. <laughs> Just grow a nice big bushy beard. Yeah, mm -hmm. they they don't need their men of their own species to reproduce. They st implant and steal babies from other human women. Yeah, that's it's not really fucked up. Well yeah. then, that's All that's right. a, that's an image I have in my head now. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Everything's fine. Um, I think I had one more question. The only Ryan. Yes, sir. Uh, what is it that you are tracking and where can you find it? These are excellent questions. And... <laughs> <laughs> Are you frantically you know? scrolling on your map too? <laughs> Kira, you're, you're not helping. Shh, Kira. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, so suddenly it came to me uh, as if a whisper or a cough on the wind um, that uh, suddenly we are searching for were rats. Um, <laughs> Not unlike uh, maybe some rats that we possibly have seen in The Princess Bride, uh, but bigger and mm. scarier mm -hmm. and more wear like. <laughs> All right. And now for the extra double bonus question, the only Ryan, because this is the information that you got at the start of last session. Let's see if you remember oh. it. <laughs> what the hell, Trebek? I didn't know that I would be quizzed on this. Where? Would you like to phone a friend? <laughs> How do you find the were rats when you're in the Razorbook River Canyon? Oh God! Uh, I'm asking you because this was supposed to be your area of specialization. So Lumen, um, I think we should just get together, and I think we should just use our Valley Girl powers together to oh, no. figure out yeah, where like, these were rats oh, are. I just, like so in love with your hair, and I think oh. that if you got them looking at your hair, they would probably like totally just be like. Oh my God, Ryan! Like I'm a wear rat, and I want hair like yeah. you. Yeah. So, yeah. Stalling yeah. for time, yeah. I see. <laughs> what did he say? Stalling no for time, I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you um, figure that out yet? I, I I I remember we're gonna start at the top of the Razorbrook, uh, and we're gonna kind of go downwards to find our our people. All right, where rats tend to live in, uh, move between the various tunnels that live in the Razorbrook River. And you can usually find their location by the area that uh, smells like rats live there because there's a lot of tunnels, a lot, a lot of tunnels. Mm. And, and, and what does it smell like? What is it, what, what is rats living there smell like? What would you expect a den of rats to smell like? Ooh. Um, <laughs> A little bit of that, just, yeah. Just straight feces, I guess, just poop and pee. it's it, you know it's not unlike uh late nights in los angeles uh in certain corners where bones right. have spent or, way too long or the yeah, bart uh subway system in san francisco or yes. the new york yeah, subway true. system yeah uh, name any major city and mm -hmm. you know the areas well yes. and... seattle doesn't smell quite as bad as san francisco does let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> Wow, shots fired. Okay. I, I'm That's from awesome. the San Francisco area. I can talk shit about it. Because oh. oh, okay. Never mind. Everybody All right. Everybody there does. It's so bad. Feel free to talk shit about the shit. I will. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of it <laughs> all over the city. That sweet so civic center aroma. Oh, love it. <clears throat> Mm. Oh, um, making is is lunchtime here? I'm so yeah, hungry now. Man, I'm so Thank glad you. that I haven't 
had my delicious bowl of cereal yet. <laughs> Your cocoa puffs. It's not going to be cocoa charms. puffs. It's going to be mm. vanilla cinnamon lucky charms. Oh, oh well, fancy God. Fancy. They were only a dollar, my dude. <laughs> this is irrelevant. I'm sorry. I'm tired and just going off. I'm like thought vomiting all over y'all. <laughs> thought vomiting? I have yeah. never heard that before. I like that. Yeah. All right. Well, here you guys are. <laughs> you have found a, a way down into the Razorbrook River Canyon. Um, is there anything you guys want to say or do before we begin today's thingamajobber? Please don't kill my animals. I don't kill I, your I animals. Second that. You kill your animals by putting them in dangerous situations where they're trying to tank damage for you. If you value yes. your animals' lives, don't send them into combat. Sure, Mr. Uh, let's just put all our animals to sleep and we have no way to to, to, to wake them up. Okay. Uh, all you had to do was like shake it awake and it would have been fine. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. just like I shake. That. He tried to do that and you were like, nope, super asleep. Yeah, I think you. I think the the specifics were like I'm gonna gently shake it. There wasn't like a wake up, you know. <laughs> well, but then you would have been like an animal around, yeah. like special. And I actually even one of my roles, I tried to be like I try to wake him up, and you're like, nope, he's really asleep. Y'all could have woken him up if you'd really wanted to. <laughs> you could have done it. Punch him in the face. Wake up, animal. Wake up. <laughs> What happened to your animal? Why don't they travel with you anymore? Well, they were asleep, and I tried to wake them up, and the only way to do it was by hitting them in the face several times. We have to magically induce sleep. It's not going to be easy to wake up from. Just saying. Just saying. You know, a cup of water wow. on the face. And then dog protective services came because I was trying to wake up. You don't understand. This is the only way to wake up my dog. I just want to cuddle with them, but I want them to be conscious. <laughs> so I punched him into consciousness. This is good. <laughs> All right. You find yourselves on the Razorbrook River itself. Um, it is a lovely little passageway of water that runs down these steep canyon walls that are maybe 30 feet high in most places. Um... The river is not too terribly wide, although it looks like it could easily swell during a rainy season. Um, where you guys are right now, it's about 30 feet, but it could in theory be up to like 60 feet wide total um, if uh, there were enough water coming down at any given point. And uh, you're heading down the river southward. What is your, your order of operations here, your, your marching order? Order of operations. <laughs> Order of operations. Uh, I'm hanging I, out I in the back. In the you're back. hanging out in the back. Are, 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 now, are you are you you you're stone sober now, right? There's no lingering. <laughs> yeah, because oh, it, yeah, was, it was magic ale. Uh, okay, and magic also ale, the magic thing. Magic station, <laughs> insta sober. <laughs> I would have gotten there eventually. That's why you couldn't remember the, the session last time. <laughs> 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 <It was crap. laughs> Uh, so you're in the back. Where is everybody else? Uh, I'm kind of hanging out in in the back, actually, uh, with her. Uh, just kind of being there, just just uh, keeping an eye open for anything that may be kind of sneaking up behind us, and you know, Tankster's keeping keeping his nose to the ground, as it were. Excellent. Excellent. Um, the the scenery is that we're out of the super tall grass, right? Right. We're you're like down right in a river, canyon. Yeah. In a canyon. Okay. Cool. Dry mud everywhere. Tall cliffs. Trees along the border. Water. And are there any tracks that we can follow or see? Uh, no. The the banks are this like really dried mud. Like this is probably okay. usually a riverbed, but it's you know not. Not it's the dry so. season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. In fact, um, as you're walking down, you spot before you a pair of crocodiles or alligators or caimans. One of them, you know, sharp tooth, oh. reptilian little monstery looking thingies. Um, oh, did your screen just go black? You. Oh. I, I think you, kinda, you gotta just scroll, scroll to the side. Yeah. And I zoom see. out a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you're in this river canyon, and you see a, a pair of crocodiles. Uh, one of them's just chilling on the bank. The other one's part in the water, <laughs> part on the bank, just kind of chilling, relaxing in the, the warm sun on this lovely 
mid spring day, late spring day. No, summer day. Because the water levels are low. Summer, sometime in the summer. Is that right? No, it's probably closer to winter. Sometime <laughs> it's look, it's warm out, all right? It doesn't <laughs> matter what it looks like is. they want to eat us. Uh I mean, can I like roll to to see if I can decipher if they're gonna wanna yeah, like, you're, harm us? You're druidy and naturey. Give me um give me an animal handling or a, give me a nature check. I did an animal handling check. We'll take the base roll out of that, which is a 17, so that's gonna be well more than enough. Um, yeah. These crocodiles, and they're definitely crocodiles, are just chilling. Um, they're temperamental creatures. Uh, right now, they're clearly not interested in eating you, but you're also pretty far away. Okay. Um, hmm. They're just enjoying the sunshine. And if we're looking at this topography here that you got going on, mm -hmm. there's no way to just cross over to the other side of the bank and just kind of avoid that altogether, is there? I mean, you cross to the other side and then you, you run out of... Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's okay. Right. okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. I was just curious. But they're just hanging yeah, out. I want to see if they see any rats. They've seen any of the rare rats because they're locals. Oh, you want to you want to ask them to see if they if they know anything? If they know anything, yeah. Or well, you could uh, make a deal with them to find the rare rats and that they get to eat the rare rats afterwards. Well, Lumen, uh, both of us are able to uh, have a chance to actually talk to animals. Uh, which which one of us should take a crack at that? Um, or we could just kill them too. <laughs> I mean, we are kind of hungry and we don't really have any, you know. How do, wait, how do meat? we know these aren't somebody's pets? You were all just talking about killing people's pets. <laughs> oh god. They're my pets. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> they're 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 his pets, all right, you know. I pick up Miko <laughs> and I'm sort of like holding Miko protectively while looking at <laughs> You are paranoid. Miko's the dog, right? Yeah, because no, the, the raccoon. The raccoon, okay. Yeah, yeah. Two of, of my freaking pets animals. died, my dude. Okay. <laughs> of course, I'm paranoid. Well, maybe... I'm, I'm getting no. Trust me, I'm getting that from. Gamby this is my only second time on Koibu show here, and I'm already getting the special to my heart. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Maybe you shouldn't send the things that you love into highly dangerous situations where they can get killed. You know, like you wouldn't send your child chasing after a raccoon into a bunch of rocks. You don't know that. <laughs> child, go get that raccoon. Yeah. So you know. Um. All right. So do we? Uh. Would do you have a lot of spells, Ryan? Or, um. Well, um, like let me let me relook at this. So basically, I have I have animal friendship, detect poison and disease, and speak with animals. Okay, why don't you do it then? Because it sounds like like I have a lot of spells that are um, combat related, and I don't mm -hmm. want to like use a spell and then have us go into combat and then have us be in trouble because I can't like hear wounds or do anything like that. Totally. And and if you could remind me please Koibu like mm -hmm. uh the animal friendship mm -hmm. spell mm -hmm. is that just a general just friendliness with animals and and that kind of stuff and and that feeds into speak with animals or uh, what does let's... that animal friendship let's just see what it says. Mm -hmm. This spell lets you convince a beast that you mean it no harm. Choose a Ooh. beast that you can see within range. It must see and hear you. The beast's intelligence is four or higher. The spell fails. So it's got to be a stupid animal. <laughs> um, otherwise, the beast must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by you for the spell's duration. If you or one of your companions harms the target, the spell ends. So hypothetically speaking, I could speak with the animal first. And mm -hmm. if I feel like it's going to be hostile, I could then try animal friendship. Yeah, totally. Okay. But there are uh, two of these. Right. So well, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to hope that one... Will tell his buddy to stand down. Yeah, that or if also a push came to shove, um, then that one would kind of defend us if I had to use animal friendship, that kind of thing. So either way. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we can see here. Uh, all right. So uh, I want to first try to speak with the closest one that apparently I guess is kind of half in water, half out. All right. So that will... what, what do I need to do? Uh, 
just click on the speak with animals spell and we'll get the text there we go you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration these are beasts um, mm -hmm. knowledge and awareness blah 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 you might be able to persuade a beast to perform a small favor for you at the dm's discretion so uh you speak crocodilian okay crocodilian. well hello crocodiles how are you doing today I Mark ask. Lazily, slowly turns its head to face you. Eyes dart over towards you. It gives you a very gentle nod and then kind of lazily goes back. That's what it was doing. So, uh, I was kind of wondering would it be allowed if me and my group here could, could walk past you uh, without any harm or whatnot coming to us? And also, you know, if you have any information about were rats, just saying. <laughs> uh, Downriver. Downriver. Okay. All right. Uh, by any chance, to actually, would you want to help us find were rats? And if we do, they are yours to munch on. <laughs> or you could take a nap. That's cool. <laughs> um so i once again just kind of speak up just a little more loudly so um I'm, I'm sorry i really truly do apologize to i clearly this is a wonderful day and you're enjoying your 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 time out totally understand mm -hmm. uh but before we we leave you alone and pass on by i was wondering would you and your friend there want to possibly join us in fighting some were rats and uh, possibly, uh, no, no, you wouldn't. You're not, not, not hungry at all right now for 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 where rats or anything. A little, little hungry, but they're okay. so far down river. I prefer my meals closer. Mm, mm. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. That's that's certain things to think about. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, party. Um, do you think I should go ahead and try to cast animal friendship, per chance? Seems like they're. They're pretty ambivalent about us. Yeah. Uh, except that care. last part about dinner being close on by. And if us trying to walk by. Toss them some honey buns while we walk past. Let's go. Oh, there you go. We could just. Uh, okay. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure right at alligators them. like meat or crocodiles like meat. Well, but they don't know what's going to be thrown at them. As far yes, as that's they true. Uh, so uh, uh, before the crocodile goes to his slumber, I go ahead and say, well, if you're a bit hungry, um, yes. we possibly actually do have some provisions that we could give to you for a safe passage. Would this be a fair trade? Ask mom. Oh, God. So I'm guessing mom is the one right next to you, or is is, is, is that who you're asking me to ask? Um, as if on cue... You see kind of coming around the corner oh, no. to oh, the no. south, a slightly larger one. Oh, my. Oh, that gets okay. about larger. half into okay. the water and then kind of stops. All right. Um, Thank God we didn't try to take the other bag. Yeah. <clears throat> um, hi, <laughs> Mom. You didn't try to fight. Hi. Um, so I was talking mm. to your son over here. Uh, nice lad, by the way. Uh, did a great job raising him. Um, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> scales. Um, love, love, love what you did. Uh, so I was kind of curious in being able to go down the river uh, some and look for were rats. But beforehand, we understood from your sons that you guys could potentially be uh, a little hungry, a little famished. Um, we do have some provisions that we could share with you. Would you at all be interested in a trade of our safe passage and 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 food that we could give you? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, 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 how how much food? I mean, if you, uh, how hungry are you, ma'am? Are are you incredibly oh. hungry? Oh. oh. Yes, I, I see. I see. Oh. I see. Oh. <laughs> Start tossing those honey buns. <laughs> All right, I'm just telling. All right, just tossing those honey buns. Just tossing, tossing. Just tossing. They're raccoon. just like sweet yeah. confections. Get out of the earth. Like, maybe it's time for animal friendship on mom. Yeah, that's okay. I'm using animal <laughs> friendship on mom. Uh, let's see mom's intelligence here. It is not four or higher. No, no that's good. That's good. 
You want it to no, be lower good. than four. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh, lower than God. Four. I thought you were going to say it's not four. It's higher. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to click on animal friendship? Please do. That is the second spell you've cast for the day out of your three. Yeah. Uh, uh, cast at what level? First level. It, that, yeah, yeah. First level. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, you have charmed the larger maternal crocodile, as maternal as crocodiles can be. Oh, mommy, how are you? Mm. <laughs> are you trying to date the crocodile? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to do anything that's able to get us past this, okay? So. Anything? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyone want to cue God, the very white? <laughs> uh, so, hi, uh -huh. hi, croc crocodile mom. Um, <gasps> that is, why, that's a beautiful smile, you have there <clears throat> um so she's here's while wow, she's getting closer to us yes well i mean we're, we're now friends we're now friends she's she's friends with us these are all my friends so if you could right, possibly you not eat them I'll please put some, like i'll throw some little honey buns in there yeah yeah here you go here you go you know um okay, if you wouldn't mind go. letting your your two uh i'm gonna guess both sons know that we're just gonna walk past them we mean no harm whatsoever we just want to continue to go uh down the river um but by any chance, uh, it would you have any uh, extra information on any were rats or anything about maybe just instead of just down river, have you seen them specifically anywhere? Since we're friends? A few days ago. Okay, a few, 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 few days ago, uh, what? Uh, you, just, you saw them a few days ago, I'm getting that, but um, any any particular further distance down you would perchance know. A mm. hundred strokes. Okay, a hundred strokes. Her right. strokes, though. Yeah, I mean, big strokes, but yeah, still. All right, cool. Well, thank you so oh, much. Can, can, you, can we ride her? Fair oh. question. Um, since we're both friends right now, uh, Mom, um, would it be, since, I mean, you are clearly a very powerful animal, um, would it be cool if we if we got on your back and kind of rode down the river a bit? Would that be okay to place at least where you last saw them? I throw more buns in the mouth. Yeah, <laughs> in a lot the more mouth. buns. Ha 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 ha! I like how you throw the buns. Mm. She eyes you, judging you. Me and my beautiful pink hair. Mm-hmm. And then, I'll, I'll, like, how many rations do we have? I could just throw one jerky ration in there. I mean, yeah. each ration is about two pounds of food. That's a day's worth of rations for you. Um, mm -hmm. Two pounds of food ain't much for a crocodile, though. Especially okay, a very large crocodile. Yeah, we're, okay. we're, we're giving her snacks, basically. We're just giving she's, her she's, snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're giving her snacks. Uh, but she's gotten real close to Brother Honeybun here. Oh. And uh, she's looking at the only Ryan with this like request to be ridden down the river. Oh, and I'm just a bit, I'm a heavy boy. Yeah, and you're this like big juicy meaty thingy. Oh no! But we're friends. We're friends. Yeah, and she like opens her mouth. The honey buns go in, and she kind of like lets her arms flop out to other side and kind of like, flops on her belly, and just like leaves her mouth open waiting for treats. More buns. Yeah. Uh, she seems pretty content to to just chill right okay, here. Okay, send it in. Yeah. All right. We'll be able to That's ride enough. Now. All right. Aww. All right. Well, so we, we definitely give her a, a good enough to satiate any any hunger pains that mm -hmm. uh, she she may have not filling her up clearly. Um, but, uh, you know, and so because we're, we're friends, uh now here at mama crocodile is it okay if we walk past you know that can you let your sons know that we're cool and we just we just want to walk past and continue on our way down she kind of swishes her tail back and forth and looks back over her shoulder and just kind of nods at you and and speaks in crocodilian i don't attack they won't attack thank you All so right. much thank truly you. truly do appreciate it you you're amazing and uh you know we we come back up this way and we have any uh uh where meat uh where rat meat on us uh it is 100 uh yours no problem she seemed content with this 
uh, but is not going to move out of your way. You're going to have to walk around her and get your boots wet. Oh, nah, joy. Uh, I'm I'm fine with this. All right. I'm fine with this. Last time I checked, I think we all have gear on at least that allows us to be in the elements. Yeah, so. I mean, you're, you're walking outside. You, you get your boots wet. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Woo! You're going to have to cross the river anyway. Crossing so, yeah. the river? Yeah, we're going to cross the river anyway. You're going to so. have to cross the river at some point. So yeah. you're going to get even more wet. Got that military training, y'all? Mm-hmm. Must protect the food, though. <laughs> Don't let the pastries get wet. Don't let the pastries get wet. Uh, you continue southward along the river until you come to an area that begins to have all of these like caves and caverns, each with a small creek flowing out of it. Um, and there's there's dozens of them. It seems like every couple hundred feet, maybe not even a couple hundred feet, every hundred feet or so, there's a, a cave on the left side, there's a cave on the right side. Uh, and they all got these little creeks that flow out into the, the Razorbrook River. Um, let's see. Well, I mean, the scent would probably still be on them. That liquor scent. A After very a couple strong... of days? Uh, well, well I mean, with right us, right. with animals, with animals, they would be able to scent, uh, smell that. Maybe. Can, it, can a dog a tell when someone, if someone drank alcohol three days ago? Days ago? Well, I mean, if they spilt any yeah, alcohol on themselves whatsoever. Themselves, yes. Yeah. But if it leaves their system within about 24 hours. But yeah, any anything any anything that'd be on on them would stay there for for definitely for quite a while. Okay. Uh, so, what does that mean for you guys? Mm. You, you you have dogs, so maybe they could sniff um. something. Wait. I'm gonna tell oh. my dog Spira to um <laughs> to, <laughs> Do we have anything with their scent on it? Because we did take some of their things, right? Yep. Okay. We took a, a whole body. Cool. We took so, one of them. Do but... you still have its body with you? No, but no we still have, any, have like, it, but I'm sure of... I mean, okay, so do you want me to roll like fifty fifty percent chat like a, a D four even numbers? I took a cloth of the girl that she was wearing, odd numbers, I did it. Because we didn't necessarily say this, so That sounds like a fair deal to me. Yeah. If you want to All have right. seen if you would have had the foresight to take one, go for it. Okay. Uh, which one is which again? Evens you take it or what what is the deal, Leo? Um, Evens, she took it. Odds, she did not. Sure. I think. Yeah. I said. On a D4. Ready? Go for it. Yeah! Evens! Yes! <laughs> nice! Perfect. You Proud do you, have a, a scrap oh, of this this cloth. It's a, that, that blue cloak that they was wearing. Yeah. All right. So I, I um, take the cloth and I show it to my dog um, and I tell her um you know um find the scent and she, i assume she starts sniffing sure. um and then does she find the scent what type of dog is spira out of uh curiosity real world or just like yeah yeah like well no 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 uh, your, your dog like, your in-game dog is what type of dog oh okay well um she's a mutt so she's nice. a, okay. a mix yeah all right Definitely, he's got some like lab and uh, just like a bunch of other. Sure. Uh, so, Spear goes sniffing, sniffing, and comes up to a particular cave entrance and starts sniffing around at something, and then like notices a, a small pile of animal bones that are still sort of rotting, uh, and immediately begins rolling in it. Okay. Ugh. Cool. Uh-huh. Um. Um, and then kind of sniffs around the entryway and goes, something in here. Something smells good. Um, so is anim uh, is uh, Ryan's speak with animals spell still working? Because has it been longer than, I believe it's 10 minutes. Speak with animals is 10 minutes. Yeah, so this is within 10 minutes, definitely. Okay, perfect. So Ryan knows that she said that, and I'm mm -hmm. going to... Um, Ask him to ask her if she smells the same smell on the cloth in the cave. So I, I relay the message. 
Something familiar, yeah, something a lot like this. Okay, and then I, I turn turn back and, and relay that message as well, playing the human version of telephone. Not not exact, <laughs> but 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 close. Okay. But so close, but close. It seems like well, because this woman is dead, so it's not the same, but it should be similar. Um cool. So we it seems like we may have found where they are. Do we want to form a plan of attack? Um, and then I'm, I'm going to go over to Spira and I'm going to give her some belly rubs and <sighs> I love the belly pull out rubs. some like jerky from her ration, <laughs> give her a treat, um, and give her ear rubbies. Mm-hmm. And give her, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I hope somebody would uh, clip that and can auto tune uh, Koi Boo's sounds oh. right there. That'd be amazing. <laughs> uh, does somebody? Have, well, can I? Can I just kind of peek my head in the cave and see what yeah. I can see? Uh, so you can see about fifty feet in, uh, forty-five feet in. It looks like a, a natural cave that kind of twists and turns, and you can only see 45 in because like it, it turns to the side and you lose line of sight. Uh, there are some stalactites and some some stalagmites. This is one of the few caves that actually doesn't have a little creek running out of it. Um, and it looks quite roomy in there. Ceilings are maybe five to 20 feet high in, in some areas. Uh, plenty of moving room around. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. And you guys are in you know, Bad Meal. You're in this corner that you'll see momentarily. Hmm. You see, there you go. Now, is this also taking into account with my eyesight and be able to see in yes. dark like it's daylight? Yes. Okay. You, you, all of your tokens should be able to see the thing that your characters can see. So, Brother Honeybun, <laughs> who doesn't have any sort of dark vision, can only see I'm in... I'm just going to close my eyes. <laughs> All right. I was going to say, can only see in as far as the sunlight from outside will allow. Lola. Yeah. Sorry. It's Lola. <laughs> um, that's my cat. She's she pretended she's Chewbacca. Just run around. <laughs> and, suddenly, and suddenly now she's in the game. <laughs> um, are there are any sign of uh, coming and going on the ground, like footprints? Uh, there are... Give me a, a survival check. See, is that the right one? Maybe it's a nature check. See if you can track it. See if you can see any tracks. Is the oh, Easter God. bunny my wife left for me in our house. She's been oh. gone on a, a trip all week and hid in the oh. Easter basket before she left and didn't let me know it was hiding in here until uh, yesterday. Oh, that's oh, sweet. That's cute. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, she's the best. Looking for survival or nature. Mr. B, we gotta go buy all the the Easter candies on sale today. I've been eating so much candy, my system is like wrecked. I feel like crap. Peanut butter eggs. So much sugar. Oh my god, those are so good. They're gonna be probably on sale today. Uh, Where are my. This is the Lola. Blue. Ah. No, I mean, I mean. <laughs> yes, give me a survival check there. Survival! Oh. Uh, you know, it's really dry ground here. This is one of the few places without a creek. It's just kind of dirty, dusty. There's too many tracks to make sense of any of them. <laughs> Bonsai eat veggies, not candy. They... <laughs> eat candy, not veggies. Because I do this, like, I have, I have weeks where usually I forget to eat, except I have candy on hand, so there's a whole week I just ate cookies. I like, that. that was all the food you ate? <laughs> I we're mean, talking I about mean, you or Honey Bun. Don't tell the world. Lord. Um, should we... Try to venture it further. <laughs> Maybe somebody else wants to see if we can find some sort of footprints or something. I'm gonna grab uh, on to Nika, please. I, I can I can venture a a, a little further sure. uh, here. Feel free to move your tokens uh, around and do whatever you want to do and explore the cave at your uh, speed. Uh, ask questions if you want. Uh, I won't give you any 
Yeah, I'm not going to point out anything unless it's like needs to be pointed out. Oh, uh, here's my question. When I move my, I just move my character forward, and uh, you know, little some more things got exposed here. Mm-hmm. Um, can they now see what I see? No, they can only see from their perspective. All right, so let me tell you right now. So right where I'm at, um, there's definitely a bigger room that opens up to our right-hand side, and there's also a pillar. Uh, it, it appears to be a pillar um, that, uh, or maybe that's a shadow. I can't, I can't tell if um, that long black thing I'm seeing is a shadow or a pillar. Um, Koibu, since, I mean, I'm not familiar I'd say with... say you are seeing the shadow of a pillar. Okay, all right. Yeah, the Fair pillar enough. is blocking your light to behind it. Does that gotcha. look like a man-made pillar or cre- creature-made pillar? Natural um, stalagmite and stalactite. Natural. Yeah. Okay. At this point, I feel like uh, uh, we're fine. Um, and uh, do you want me to venture forth a little bit more to see if anything else opens up? Um, uh, how sneaky are you? Um, do you believe my, my sneakiness is... is decent but i don't remember let me let me check here core can i uh, roll um are you talking about stealth help? yeah are you talking we about, should, so my stealth should, is five uh, since i already have my hands on nika uh guidance sure um go ahead and cast guidance on nika ryan give me a mm-hmm. stealth check and i do want to note that this ridge right here is a is a ridge um, so it can be climbed or it can be walked around, which I think you can okay. see, Ryan, that there's like a ramp around it or there's like a, a five or six foot ledge that's kind of crumbly and dirty and soft that you could scramble if you needed to. Nice. Nice stealth. Mm-hmm. Um, Brother Honeybun, you have cast Guidance on Niga. Yes. Um, you guys should also be able to control your animals, I think, if you want them to move with you. Uh, Nig, is Nig, are you doing anything with this guidance? Uh, I, I hadn't planned to, Honey Bun. Did you have something you wanted me to do? No, I can't see. You're the only one I'm holding on to. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, um, I, I'd prefer to wait if, if, uh, if Ryan can stealth in there. All I'd right. prefer to wait and see what he can. What? Well, I have stealth on. Does it, does stealth play into any of this, Koibu, when I'm moving my character around? Or uh, it'll does... play into how the monsters see you. So no gotcha. mechanical difference on the on the screen. I'll take care mm-hmm. of all the details. Gotcha. All right. So, by the way, this little blue tag right behind my character, do I use that to mo- turn my character at all? Yeah. Does it... Yeah. That okay. little thing that sticks out. Okay. There, you go. okay there we go. Uh, so, yeah, it does look like there's a little bit of a ramp here to our right. Do we want to go all the way around, or do we want to climb up this ridge that's in front of us? Can I use um, either survival or nature or something like that um, to try to figure out um, where is the most likely traveled path? Yeah, give me a survival check. You know, the most like the most traveled path is this way. Okay, so right. I relay that to everybody. Um, okay, so I guess we'll go up the 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 ramp. Is then. there anything else that I would notice with that check, like any kind of tracks, any kind of um, like? There are lots and lots of very small tracks in here. Okay, um, like you know, rat or raccoon sized tracks. I try whispering. Does anybody want me to do light yet? Light. Uh, I, 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 I'd be fine with, fine with light. Well, I mean, I don't know if you guys want to. Okay, no, no. Yeah. If there's something in here, it's going to see us. I, I I think we should proceed with stealth if possible. Okay. So that we can get the drop on them. That way we get a surprise attack if we can. Uh, All right, fair enough. No, fair, fair, good point. All right, so we're going to take the ramp, uh, here. I'm going to be right at the beginning of the ramp. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I, I, there's, I don't see anything here. So if you guys would love to come join, as now I cannot see the rest of you guys. I don't see where. Hi, Nika. <laughs> come with me. <laughs> are you guys bringing your animals? Or uh, are they like waiting at the the back? I well, I, I actually I did want to bring Tank, but now I can't even grab. I can't click oh, on you him. Can't see can you him? <laughs> can you click on that? 
wolf? Yeah, yeah. I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get All him? Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to send Spira away and have her go back to the the wood folk and tell them that like like basically update them on what's going on and I You can spend Spira like all the way back across the plains by herself? Yeah. But what if she gets eaten by a crocodile? No, okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say there's <laughs> crocodiles, there's lions, bears, and oh my. Okay, Spira's coming with. I changed my mind. All right. Uh, you <laughs> should be able to move Spira as well. Can you click and drag her token around? This, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Yes. Cool. So I'll just like right. let you guys move your animals and just I'll assume they're wherever you say they are. Okay. And I'll okay. keep Brother Honeybun next to Niga. Right. Uh, uh, the only uh, thing is uh, you might need to, yeah, because like if I don't, I guess if I move to a certain point and it, the logo goes away and I can't right. click on it, I'll, unfortunately. I'll help you out. Thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to go up halfway up here on this uh, this little, well, actually more like one fourth away up this path um, so I can see what's around. All right. So I can already tell you there's nothing around this pillar. Uh, so Ooh. we're good. Um so where is who else is left behind? Is that Lumen? I don't. Yeah, I don't understand where everybody went. Just I keep on going know. forward. Keep on going forward, like, Lumen. There's, there's oh, me. Lumen, what? You're a human, right? I'm a no. halfling. You're a halfling. Okay, so you should. Let me see. Do halflings have infravision? Um, I thought. I thought. I thought she did. I thought they do. I might not have set up the token correctly. Oh. Okay. Let me just. Double I was check like, this. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> You know what? Halflings don't have infravision. Oh. So you are also in the dark. Okay, so... Can I be riding she... on Brother Honeybun's shoulders then? Um, yes. Or at least holding onto his cloak or something? I'll put her up on my shoulders. It's Brother Honeybun is holding on to Niga, and then I could be on Brother Honeybun. Sure. And I'll just keep your dog with you. Um, uh, all right. Hold door, hold door, hold door. Hold door. Okay, so... This is the weirdest train ever. All right, uh, gonna go up uh, about halfway up the uh, the ramp. Do not still see anything. It looks like we're good. This is all right. right. So if you guys want to join, there's Nia, <laughs> there's Honey Bun and Lumen. Perfect. All right, there gonna go. pretty much kind of go up here uh, before that we get to close to the bend. That's me. So, you just want to keep on following around here. Okay. The blind supporting the blind. I know, right? Well, I, I all I'm going to say is I'm going to look back at Honey Bun and be like, okay, even though we don't have you doing it yet, at a moment's notice, get ready to uh, cast your light spell and, yeah, so and to ready. light everything up. Oh, that's, so, that's a good just, idea. So, uh, I'm going to go right around this bend here, and this will be our first kind of like little look see what's in front okay so uh looks like we have another kind of smaller room leading into a possible bigger room and there is a swarm of raw no you see a bunch of rats, rats. just kind of like swarm of rats. raw rats <laughs> it was like it was it just said like it was what's good like the word was cut off by the blacks so it was like swarm of raw <laughs> Wait yeah. a second! They were they were way way out there. Now suddenly, of course. Yeah, I mean they're you. Getting even closer. They're getting a little closer. There's something coming in, and there's something talking in this cave, and your voice just echoes, uh, even when you try and keep it a little quiet. I think there. we should. I think we should do the light. Do the light now before and. Well, the, you're right around the corner, so you're not gonna. The light isn't even gonna uh, uh, notice them at all. Um, so, uh, <laughs> that little sound. Uh, so yeah, they they're kind of they're kind of going back off a bit, and they're just kind of like I guess they're just kind of they're hanging back a little bit. So if you guys get to where I'm at, right here at this uh, bottleneck area, do they, do they look like regular rats or? The, rats? There's one giant rat getting closer here. Oh. Um, uh, could I ready my crossbow? Definitely. Yay, yep. thank you. I'm going to back up just a little bit and if because I want to bottleneck this are you, creature are you guys if it if it comes any closer. Cast something? 
I, I would wait. Let's surprise him if we can. Yeah. Okay. Just so like far, it's just hearing us then. So uh, far, there is this, yeah, know. right where, right in front of me, there's a little bottleneck right there. So if it gets close, I want, I want to surprise it if it gets, if it gets a little closer. So just, just be aware. Um... It's getting closer. Like it's right. It's it's right in front of me. Uh, not like directly, but it's like uh, maybe twenty feet uh, away. And uh, if it gets any closer, I want to. It's now all the way to the left. Are you still right. in your time period for your speak with animals thing? Mm -hmm. All right. No. no. Let's. No. No. There's a gigantic rat, guys, right here to the left. I say we go for it. Hey, use your light, quick. Use your uh, light. Use your light, all and right, I'm no, gonna draw my no, bow. Light. Mate. And I'm going to attack the thing. And I have my silver mace also ready as well. Um, All right. So what do I do uh, to do a hit to uh, go for a hit and crossbow all longbow? All of you that had attacks readied make attacks against the rat. Yeah, with whatever you nice. were going to use. Okay. Yay! Should we, should we talk to the people first, or it's too late? Okay. We already attacked. The, okay. The bolts are flying. <laughs> uh, Koopa Hintons hits for seven. The only Ryan you hit with your longbow, roll some damage there. Kira Corellia, you hit with your crossbow as well. Hell yeah. 16. Yeah. I'm... Oh my God. Yeah, you guys. And we're using our silver weapons. I would like to specify. Yep. Using sure. our silver weapons. Uh, so you do just an insane amount of damage to this rat. You do uh, 24 damage to it, and it, it just gets obliterated. It's got like three sticks coming out of it at really <laughs> awkward angles. Does it phase into... A human, or was it just a regular rat? No, it's just dead now. It's just a dead rat on the ground. Just Can I take rat. it and eat it later? Rat? You may take it and eat it later, yes. I would like to take it, please. You now have. It please. It is so gross. Please Nika gets hungry. You should probably dead detect giant rat to your poison before you eat it, though. So. Well, not yeah. even now. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, yeah. You should definitely have Ryan check that for you because. Okay. <laughs> You don't right. know what kind of diseases those rats have. So my light lasts for about an hour. Yep. All right. Yeah, we should be good. So, all right. Uh, there was a giant swarm of rats, but I'm not seeing them really anymore from where I'm at. There's uh, probably no sense in sneaking around now because they yeah. anything that's in here heard the echoes. Well, you might as well uh, just go. So, yeah, just come past this bottleneck point so you guys can see what I see. Boop. It's a peddler. All right, so up. So there's a swarm of rats. Oh. Guys, be, uh, Niga, you might yeah. want to be a little careful. Uh, giant careful. rats, swarm of rats. We may need to once again uh, jump back past this bottleneck point if we need to, because I don't want us to get split up around this pillar. Would, um, is there anything that visually would show us the difference between a were rat ooh. and a regular rat? Like, is there something that I can roll to determine? Oh, no, that's the horror of lycanthropes is you can't tell what is regular and what is what is that what they are. Okay. Yeah. I mean, even um, being a druid and like yeah, that's oh. that's the whole point of the camouflage is to be undetectable. Undetectable. That's yeah. fair. Five, ten, fifteen. 15 this swarm of rats is within. Let me see if I move right here. Five, ten, 15, oh, 25. Uh, sacred flame. Uh, you're going to sacred flame the rats? Go for it. Yep, sacred flame the rats. I uh, have my bow at the ready. It's, uh, let's see. Do I have to save rage? them, right? I'm also readying flaming spirit. Oh, it's, a, it's a 10. It's a, what is it? Let me see. Flame Lumen, you might want to uh, pull in your, your, your puppers a little closer, Lumen. Uh, like a 10 foot range cone, 60 feet out. Uh, it's a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Sorry, my IRL puppers was making noise, so I had to check. No, no dexterity worries. Saving I just, throw. That's, no, I'm if anything comes up behind us, I wanted to make sure. We'll use its roll though, which is still going to be a pass. Yeah, yeah. same, same. They right. get dexterity saving throws on the sacred flame. Yeah. Oh. Yes, oh, they do. Target must be on Dexter. Brother Honeybun is talking to himself again. I'm really sorry. He's uh, as your flaming radiance uh, descends upon the, the swarming rats, uh, they turn on you. And okay, I'm gonna... we all need to roll initiative because the rats are charging you now. All right, I said initiative. that I readied flaming sphere. You can, can I... get the spell off right now before they get their charge. Yeah, and um, I, I had my bow ready to to fire as well before oh, at the same time. 
Take a shot. Take a shot. The All right. flaming spear is the one that you only cast once, and then it, I can, like, as a bonus action, move it around. So right, right. Just letting you know that. I appreciate that. And I need to roll initiative. Boop. Oh, good. And uh, so I also. Token was selected. What is that? Oh, it's to uh, click your token and then click the button. Oh. And oh gosh, I forget I forget how to oh initiative. Do I just click on initiative? Yes. And that yeah. would okay. Hey, nice job. Alright. Uh, oh, you had the same problem, it looks like. I yes, I can fix these things. I can do this. 14.16. And you, your animals will just go on your turn just to make everything easy for us. Cool. Uh, and and real quick, I I had already shot my bow. Did that get factored into? Uh, please make your roll a twelve. Is what you rolled to hit a twelve? Is a hit indeed. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, roll me some damage. I, I did. It was uh, oh, it was 10, 10. 10 piercing. Perfect. Wonderful. Uh, let me just take a look at my swarm of rat notes right now. <laughs> okay, you whap the rats. And it looks like everybody has rolled initiative. We're going to take a break, and when we come back from break, we will hop into combat. So see you guys on the other side. Get your initiative on the other side. <laughs>